Hello again, this is Christy Dove, the Clearance Queen. I am here to uh, share with you guys a part two of my intermittent fasting experience. Um, now, intermittent fasting, I did another video on it. It's pretty much um, taking a length of time in your day without eating and eating with a certain within a certain amount of hours. And, you know, pretty much you train your body to consume all these calories in a certain time and then after that your body is forced to feed off the fat that's on it um the carbohydrates all that good stuff it forces your body to use the extras our surplus then to use what's in your tummy and that's really important because uh, if you're like me you eat sugar and carbs and your body's never going to burn the fat even if you're working out like crazy um, because you're using what's in your stomach and so if you're continuously filling your stomach then there's always something to burn you're never gonna burn the surplus which is that stuff <laughs> so anyway that's the theory anyway so I'm not a dietitian let me say that before I go any further I'm not a dietitian um, I have only been doing this for a short while I do it on and off um, so here we go so I have not been doing this since my last video five months ago I do it on and off one bad thing I did notice I don't know if it's because my hair is natural and I wasn't taking care of it but when I was doing intermittent fasting um, I was noticing the pounds go down I was noticing my stomach get a lot flatter and I think that's because I eat a lot of sugar um, and I'm cutting that out so that I think sugar tummies do exist but I noticed that my hair when I went to get my hair done the lady was like is it because of the color? Oh my God, what have you been doing since you haven't been here? So it was really dry. And she really scared me because my hair, it's natural and it's short when it's curly, but when it's straightened, it's kind of, it's got some length and I'm thankful I'm letting it grow out. I love it long. So that really scared me. Uh, so that, be careful for that. Maybe do extra conditioning treatments, make sure you drink water, healthy fats. So um, no fat and no carbs equals starvation. So if you're going to be doing intermittent fasting, um, some people cut out their carbs. I just pretty much, I I was careful for sugar because I just want to get rid of it. But I wasn't super restrictive in the times when I was eating. So um, when I was doing it, I was doing, I would eat at like 6 p.m. And then not eat again till like maybe 11 or 12 in the morning something like that or you can go later you know if you're missing one meal or two technically you're fasting um, breakfast is always easy people always tell you eat breakfast is the most important meal of the day well yeah but if you cut that breakfast out then you're in a minute fasting pretty much so you can eat your other two meals or push them close together so your body has time to burn what's extra on you extra fat so that's the theory anyway so I have um, not been doing intermittent fasting per se I've been fasting spiritually and I know you're not supposed to say that because the Bible says that if you tell people you're fasting or you make yourself look so gloomy and tired and faint oh I haven't eaten look at the shakes I haven't eaten in three days if you do that you're voiding your rewards in heaven so Lord, please forgive me. That's not why I'm doing this to look like, oh, look at me. I'm fasting just to give you encouragement. When you do a spiritual fast, um, the goal is to get close to God. The side benefit is the weight loss and clarity. Um, so let me say that the reason why I'm doing it is because I want to hear God in this season. And I really want to know what's next. Like for real, I really want to know what's next. I am 34 years old. I kind of want to know my purpose already so there's that um, that's why I'm doing it and it's not easy because I do like to eat and it's so crazy when I was doing intermittent fasting I could go like I just told you until 11 or 12 maybe one or two without eating and I was okay because I knew it was for weight loss but now the spiritual aspect is kicking in and it's like my spirit is willing my flesh is weak my flesh is like, I don't want to wait until 2 o'clock to eat. Let's eat now. Where's my coffee? So you see how your flesh can act up. And I know that sounds weird if you're not a Christian, but the flesh is what your body wants. It's um, carnal. It doesn't want the things of the spirit, the things of God. So be prepared for that um, if you're going to do a spiritual fast. But just to encourage you, those physically your body's going to do the same thing. 
if you do a fast, um, a partial fast, say you're just doing, um, you're eating just dinner or you're eating just lunch or just breakfast, it's pretty much intermittent fasting. So what I've been doing, I've been kicking my butt, uh, working out, I've got a Fitbit and I've been doing anywhere from like 18 to 20,000 steps a day. Um, so when I say steps, I'm either walking or I'm walking in place or like I'm watching a movie with my family and I'm like, you know, moving fake lifting weights like this, Casey. Yeah, I'm doing like this and I'm like toggling. Or sometimes I'll have weights and I'll just do overhead presses while I'm watching uh, movies. Sometimes, you know, and then I put them away. But I try to get those steps in. Now, the weight was going up and down, up and down. It was really ridiculous. So I put myself on a challenge and said for the month of June, I'm going to do no fries because I love fries. And then my husband, he hooked me on... Um, he hooked me on ranch with your fries, which is the worst because ranch is delicious, but it's full of fat. It's fat, and I'm adding extra calories to fries. Like, come on, people. I can't do that. Not if I want the body I want and to be healthy. So I cut out fried foods, and I cut out fries, period. I don't think I had anything fried either. Weight, mm, better. You know, I, could, I felt better, but the weight was up a pound, down two pounds up two down you know three and i'm just like this is ridiculous it really is because i'm kicking my butt um so and i was doing eight fit which is a great app i love it's intermittent not intermittent i'm sorry it's like hit tabata those kind of quick workouts you push you do your best they start you off slowly and they move you up they got food plans i am a member i'll put the link below um so you can check them out um, but yeah, I was doing that as well and wasn't, I wasn't seeing the, the changes I wanted. Now, 8Fit will make you fit. If you put a diet with the exercise, you're going to see changes. But for me, I was still eating crap and even though I was cutting out my fries, it just wasn't moving, you know. Um, but, you know, so cutting out sugar, cutting out fried foods, that's like a no-brainer. But it wasn't moving the way I wanted to move. Now, on this spiritual fast... Um, I've only been on the fast maybe four or five days and uh, what I'm doing is I'm drinking water um, and like herbal teas, turk teas and stuff like that, mostly just water until three o'clock and six o'clock or six o'clock. Some days I can make it to six and I'm like, Lord, forgive me today. My flesh is acting up. I can't do it. I'll make it till three. So I try to do that. Um, I'm also fasting like games and TV shows and like shopping. So that's hard. But it's anything just to take the time and replace it with him time. And so I've had some time. My boys, I'm a mother of two boys and they're in Chicago uh, visiting family. So it's just my husband and I. I work from home. So when he's at work, it's just me. So I can spend a lot of time with God. But unfortunately, that gives you a lot of time to look in the kitchen and say, hmm, I could be eating that or that coffee sounds great. But anyway point is you have to be disciplined you have to be praying you can't just not eat it's about replacing the food with something spiritual worshiping god reading the word spending time journaling uh listening to sermons you know stuff like that uh anything spiritual if it's just sitting in a room and just acknowledging him and talking to him like that's prayer in jesus name uh so also what i found was that um i want to say i've i've I'm pretty much lighter than I've been doing the regular intermittent fasting. I think God's blessing it, of course, and I'm being very strict. Like, there's no coffee in the morning, um, so there's no, none of that. So, pretty much, I've dropped, like, four pounds in the week I've been doing it. And I know that that's not a lot to some people, but to me it is because my weight will fluctuate. And it'll go up and go down, and it's really frustrating. I've toned back on my activity, though, because sometimes I just don't have the energy. I know that's going to change. When you're fasting, um, the first few days are tough. The weekend, you're, like, killing it. You're getting it done. I don't like saying killing it. You're doing great. You're living it. Um, there's a sermon by Matt, Miles Monroe about the benefits of fasting and how to do it. So I'll link to that as well. Um, but, yeah, you can do that. You can do a Daniel fast which is just pretty much a vegan diet. Um, nothing from an animal, so no meat, no cheese, no milk. I did that before um, two years ago, my first time fasting. It was hard because I love sugar, but it was really beneficial. I lost weight, I felt better, but I realized how much I looked to food in difficult situations. 
and how some food sometimes can be like your reason, the raison d'etre, your reason to be, um, and which is not good. God is our reason to be. So that's just that. Just a, a quick update on my intermittent fasting slash spiritual fasting. Um, so yeah, four pounds in a week. I'll keep you updated. My stomach is definitely flatter. Clothes are fitting better. And um, you know, just, it's, it's feeling good. My skin feels clearer. Feels clear. It looks clear. Um, I'm not noticing any weirdness with my hair. I'm just taking care of it. Um, and just, I think anything you do for God, he will sustain you. Jesus fasted for 40 days. And apparently that's how long a person can go without food, period. And just water before things start to shut down. Ask your doctor if you have health issues. Pray about it. Um, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just sharing what worked for me. And um, so I'm getting a little muscle there. You know, got a little hang time, but I'm getting rid of it. It's not very jiggly. Uh, so that's like my big thing now. It, you know, I'm working on it. So I love you guys. I hope you've been encouraged. Um, I know it's a little over the place, but if you are led um, to fast, um, a spiritual fast would be awesome. You can do a Daniel fast, a water fast, just fast from your favorite show, from a cell phone, whatever it is. Just take that time and give it to the Lord instead. So I just want to pray with you. If you don't know Christ right now, just want to take care of you guys in the way that's most important because God has laid that on my heart. That's what's most important. Our bodies are temporal, meaning they'll come and go. And, uh, but your spirit, which is inside of you is forever. We want to make sure that it is reconnected with the father. Um, so right now I just pray right now, uh, the father that you are with us. We know that you're with us and we thank you so much for your love. Um, we thank you so much for being with us, being the father and a good, good God, a good, good father to us. Lord, we just want to be led to you. And, um, anyone right now that's watching this video that doesn't know you, Lord, I pray that you would open the eyes of their heart. So they may know you, God. Um, we just want to declare that you are the Son of God and we are believing in you today. So if there's anyone who has not made a decision for Christ, if you'd like to join me in this prayer, it's very simple. Um, Father in heaven, I thank you so much for your sacrifice of your son. I believe that he is the Son of God and that he died for my sins. I am a sinner and I know that I can be saved by your grace. And I'm asking that you would save me. And that you will show me your kingdom, show me your love, show me your glory so that I can be more like you every day. Father, I need saving and I know that life is, will be so much better with you. Show me who you are. Show me what you want to do in my life. In your holy name I pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all take care and have a good one. Bye.